only at the Indianapolis <laughs> Zoo. Hi everyone, welcome to our Desert Storm here at the Indianapolis Zoo. My name is Casey, I'm for the education team, and we have my friend Mercury with me right now. Now Mercury is one of our ambassador animals, and he is a Madagascar giant hognose snake. So let's break that down for a second. Madagascar is a country off the coast of Africa. It's where you can find the lemurs, and it's the only place you can find this snake. Giant, he's a pretty big boy. Um, he is a full-grown snake, and he's about five feet long. And then hognose, if you've heard of a hognose snake before, we have some here in the US. They're not related to this type of snake, but they both have the same sort of type of nose. So basically an upturned little nose for them to help them dig. What they do is they use that instead of using hands like us or a shovel, they use that nose to help them dig under leaf litter and through the dirt looking for things like nests. And really their favorite food is eggs. So you might like your eggs scrambled, you might like them fried, you like some whole and raw, um, and they will swallow just about everything that fits in their mouth. Now, what makes him special compared to a lot of our other ambassador animals is Mercury is actually a venomous snake. Now, we don't take out most of our venomous snakes here at the zoo, and he's not venomous like a rattlesnake is venomous or a black mamba is venomous. He's much more similar to a wasp or a bee. So he is a mildly venomous snake. If he were to bite someone, most likely what would happen is their hand might swell off or might have a little dis uh, discomfort. Uh, but for him, it's important for him to digest his food. He's a rear fang snake, so he doesn't have those fangs up front like a rattlesnake. Instead, when he grabs his prey, he'll kind of chew on it, and that puts the venom into the wound to help them digest. So that's how he uses his venom. And even though he's not very dangerous to humans at all, Madagascar giant hognose snakes are sometimes killed out in Africa uh, because people do have a stigma against snakes. So the best thing that you can do for snakes, both here in India and across the world, is just to give them their space. But we're really excited to be able to introduce you to Mercury today. Thank you so much for watching and have